Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan and I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and making it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome, and I'm glad you decided to stop by today. Um, if you like the video today, don't forget the thumbs up. And if you like my content, you might want to consider hitting that red subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new content. Um, make sure you leave a comment letting me know what you think of today's video or if you just want to say hi or leave a comment in general I really appreciate reading all comments and responding to all of them you guys are awesome and I love interacting with all of you so today I am going to do a little bit of a different type of video I've been trying to do some a couple videos showing gratitude to those that are deserving of such and that is what today's video is going to be and along with that it is also going to be a giveaway <laughs> so what am I giving away today you ask well I will show you I will be giving away this mini album that I created I just finished this a few days ago and I didn't have a particular purpose in mind I just like the paper collection and wanted haven't done a mini album in a while so I wanted to throw one together but in the meantime I have thought of the perfect purpose for this so today is going to be an appreciate showing appreciation video with a giveaway um, after my introduction I am going to cut out and do a flip through of the album so you can see what it looks like on the inside here is the front cover the spine and the back we're gonna take a look inside and then I'm gonna give you details on the giveaway and the whole purpose of the giveaway so I'm gonna cut out to do the flip through and then I will be back with further details so make sure you watch to the end if you want the book okay everyone so here I am with the flip through of the mini album that I am going to be giving away um, in this video so this book measures um, five inches across by eight inches um, tall it has a one and a half inch spine so it's um it's nice and little compact and then the back has the little teapots on it now the paper collection I used to create this book is called let me see real quick it is by Echo Park Paper Company and it is called Petticoats and Pinstripes so um, I created the entire album myself it's chipboard and cardstock and then I used the pattern paper um, to decorate it on the cover I just put a card that says you make the world a more beautiful place with a little butterfly die cut and some flowers and then I just wanted to bling it out with just a few gems just to, for a little pop um, of color and bling so um, I really like this book because it's a nice size to fit in your hands um, to carry it's not too bulky it's not too small um, a lot of mini albums um, people design them so small that they're really not practical for photos and it kind of defeats the whole purpose so I tried to keep this a nice size the pages are approximately six by four inches so you can put six by four photos you might just have to trim them down a little bit um, to mat on the pages but um, this is a tiny but mighty book. There's a lot of room for photos in here, as you will see. So with no further ado, we're going to get in here and see what it looks like on the inside. So on the inside um, front cover, it says Simply Sweet. There's a nice big pocket, and I have some roses down here. And then I did a couple tags that um, photos can go on. I don't know the exact measurements. It would be smaller than a 6x4 photo, but this would be nice for the ones that maybe you crop down or um, have that are a little bit smaller so we have this one with the gray on the back and it says um, brilliant and then down here it says cherish and then we have a little bit of a smaller tag and this one says lovely and it says princess so those are for the front pocket here and then this side over here it says pretty and it flips open and we've got some flowers here this would be a nice spot to put a photo or if you wanted to write a note and stick it in there that would be really nice for over there and I just put a little crown here and we've got the flowers and I made a little booklet to go in the pocket that you could put some more photos and a little tiny tag um, it's kind of small for a picture you might be able to put one or if you just want to jot down something here in the back it's not showing up yeah it's like a newsprint 
So on the next page we have a couple waterfall elements and I love these because it's a great way to put a lot of photos without having a ton of pages. So we'll just flip these up so you can kind of see what I, how I've decorated them. And I love them because each page you could put two photos so it maximizes your room quite a bit. Then we have this one. This is not showing up right there we go. It's like a lace type of paper print. I've got the yellow in this one and then here. And then you can also put one on the back as well. And we've got the same thing on the other side. The same little card that I put on the cover and then some more really um, cute paper. So with um, the waterfall elements we only have two pages here, but there is enough room for 16 photos if you use the front and back of each waterfall element. And then if you actually put one behind the element, you can actually get 16, I mean, I just said 16. You can get 18 photos just in this little section. So we're going to go ahead and flip over. And this one we have like a little gatefold twin page thing going on here, which if you wanted to, you could put photos here. And then they flip open a little bird cage here and then I put the quote a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear I thought that was really pretty and then we have the pockets here a little bit of embellishing and these are little square small tags just to keep it a little more interesting and with the, the tags being lower you can probably put photos here if you would like to do so so this one just says big smile and then smile and then over here we have the little teapots and it says cute and then on the back I just left the pattern paper so um, you sparkle so we've got the gatefold going on there and then over here we have another waterfall element this one is um, probably smaller photos like um, wallet size and this has um, eight um, I don't want to say um, eight flips instead of four. I had a brain fart there. It took me a second to think. So eight flips instead of the four. So you could get 16 um, photos if you use the front and back of each flip. And these are probably, like I said, going to have to be smaller like wallet size. And I did this little closure to keep these from flapping around a lot when you um, open and close the book. And it does have a magnet, so it kind of just keeps everything in place. I added a little bow there. And we'll just flip through these real quick for, the, like I said, the smaller photos. And I did use some of the little cut apart cards that were in the paper collection. You could either put a photo or just leave them so you have the saying. This says you are the sweetest girl in the world. And then I, you know, I embellished a little bit here and there. I like that this card has space if you want to jot a note instead of putting a photo. And this one says beautiful daughter of mine. And then we're just going to flip through. Again, another spot to do a little bit of journaling or jot a note down. And this paper collection is so cute. This says so sweet. And then we've got pretty. And then we've got... I am really sorry about that. My camera uh, cut off for some reason. I had to play with it to get it to come back up. So um, this card just says pretty. And then you flip it up and we've got the, the pink lacy paper there. So tons of room for um, photos over here and to jot down some notes. So on this side we have the flap. And I tried to cut the little thumb notches to make it easier to flip them open and close. Spot here probably for a photo. Um, you could probably stick one there if you wanted to. And I just included a couple of the um, 4x6 cut apart cards. Um, polka dots on the back. You could probably mat um, photos on these as well if you chose to. Um, but I just included those. And uh, let's see. And then the back page is another waterfall element. Um, four by six again. Just a little sticker that says love. This was um, on one of the sheets and I'm like I have to put that in there somewhere. So I thought that was a great spot and it was just the right size after I'd cut the paper part for other parts of the book. So here we go with some polka dots, some teapots, some more polka dots, a little pattern paper, the green, put a little flower sticker there, 
this is really pretty with the yellow and then the little bows and such and the pink there so there's a waterfall element and then on the back we have another one of the nice size pockets I really like that this tutorial um, shows the big pockets a nice change from the little tiny ones I really liked these so let's see on the put a little banner sticker I thought that dressed it up and then we have the two tags again the larger one says I love your smile and then the sticker was too cute I had to put it somewhere and I thought what a better spot to put it than on the little craft um, mat there so I've got that and then we've got the little the, the smaller rectangle one put a little bow on a purse and then it says happy so that is the book um, along with the link to Lori's channel I will be putting a link to the blog post that had the tutorial that I followed for this um, album um, the creator I don't have the information right in front of me and it's not coming to mind um, she has a blog where she does a lot of mini albums and paper crafting her tutorials are very very easy to um, follow if you're a paper crafter and would like to create a similar book very easy to follow so um, you might want to have a little bit of familiarity with um, assembling mini albums if you choose to make one you might need to look at some other tutorials here on YouTube because she doesn't go into great detail with some of the basics it's more for somebody who's a little bit familiar with um, doing the albums but if you're a beginner you can find um, tutorials to help you with what she doesn't go into detail with it's um, really not that difficult if it was difficult I I probably would not be capable of making it so and then we have the back cover so like I said it's a nice little size um, five by eight with the for a small spine I'm sure you'll agree there's a lot in here for how compact this is so that is my album I really love the way it turned out it was a really um, fun paper collection to work with it was a nice tutorial to work with um, I did use a full paper pack and I had two of them and I had to um, use probably not quite half of the next one um, I, the second pack I still have the these embellishments are from something different but um, the stickers I used throughout um, I didn't have to touch any in the separate second paper pack I just used probably about one and a half of the papers themselves so if you do decide to make one of these for yourself you're gonna probably need more than just one paper pack um, the paper pack I used had 12 12 by 12 sheets that were double sided and um, it had a couple sticker sheets um, but like I said if you have if you're using like um, a paper pad you'll probably be fine but for a paper pack one of them is not gonna quite cut it so just for your own information if you're a paper crafter that plans on creating one for yourself so this is the album that is going to be in the giveaway I just thought that you guys might like a peek inside to decide whether or not it's something that you would be interested in receiving so that is the flip through and I am going to um, go back on camera so I can give you the information on entering the giveaway and um, my recognition shout out type of thing so I will see you guys in just a second okay everyone so in the comments below make sure you let me know what you think of my little creation here and I am going to tell you um, the appreciation part and the purpose of the giveaway then we'll go into the giveaway rules so the reason I decided to do the giveaway is that there is a channel here on YouTube that I am a huge fan of and I want to show support to the creator and um, just give a shout out because it's an awesome 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 individual so what channel is that you ask well the channel I am honoring today in the individual is Lady Lori Beauty Over 50 she is here on YouTube she is a beauty and unboxing channel and those of you that are already subscribed know already know how awesome she is and um, I just wanted to do this video to show some support um, she's going through a little bit of a tough time um, experiencing a loss right now so hopefully um, this will lift her spirits a little bit if she happens to see the video and another reason I wanted to do the shout out in the giveaway is that she is trying to get up to 500 subscribers so she can get her community tab 
That way she can um, communicate with us without specifically having to do a video if she has a quick um, announcement of some sort. So I wanted to show some support and hopefully help her get closer to that 500 and it would be so awesome if she does reach that 500. It will be incredible and I'm sure she will be immensely grateful. Um, as of today, I checked her um, subscriber count and she is at, let me see, I wrote it down. She is currently at 463 subscribers, so we only need 37 guys. I know I have a very low subscriber count myself, but if I can get a few people headed that way, I would be so appreciative as I'm sure she would as well. So this video I am going to try to have um, uploaded and um, published on Thursday, April 21st. And um, so the giveaway can run for a little over a week to try to get some people headed her way. Like I said, I'm not a very big channel myself, but if I can even push a few that way, um, that'll be really awesome. So, um, the reason I decided to um, give a shout out for her channel and um, her as well is because, first of all, her channel. I love watching her videos. She has her alter egos and sassy, for those of you that are not aware, is the most hilarious character ever she is funny she is snarky sarcastic just a ton of fun um she Lori's channel there is a lot of humor there is a lot of fun there is a lot of like unboxing and reviews she does a lot of giveaways she does a lot of collabs um it's just a very, very fun channel. You'll see a lot of unboxings and um, she's getting more into makeup looks. She does some skincare. She does Mask Mondays. Um, it's just, if you're into the beauty and unboxing, you definitely have to check it out if you haven't already. Not only that, Lori is an individual. I think she is a really heartwarming, wonderful lady. She is funny. She is friendly she's um, understanding she loves genuinely loves her subscribers um, she responds to um, her subscribers and it's not just the cookie cutter comments um, she is just a genuine down-to-earth real person and I can totally relate to her she's not for everybody I'll give you that because she is kind of funny and matter-of-fact a little snarky and sarcastic which I love okay um, she's just a, a very very sweet lady um, I've been talking to her a little bit one-on-one um, -on -one, and um, a little bit of a friendship is striking up there and she's she's just she's real she is real and I really um, appreciate that and I'm sure a lot of her subscribers do I can't say enough nice things about her like I said her channel may not be for everybody but I am totally baffled that she does not have more subscribers than she does but at the same time um, what is more important to her than the numbers is that um, the relationship she has with her subscribers which I think is really awesome so I could go on and on all day because I just think she's she's fantastic she she's just a really great person but I'll let you see that for yourself you need to go check her out she's you won't you'll really be happy that you did if you haven't already so that leads into the giveaway this is um like I said um, kind of a, to honor her it says you make the world a more beautiful place and I believe that she does and um, so to be entered into the giveaway of course you publicly you have to be publicly subscribed to my channel Susan's just making it and you also must be publicly subscribed to Lori's channel Lady Lori Beauty over 50 we need to get to her up to 500 she deserves it she really really does um, so um, I'm going to start the giveaway the day that this goes up which will be April 21st and I want to run it all the way till April 30th to give it a little over a week and end it right at the end of the month and I will draw the winner on um, May 1st I'm not sure what day of the week it is I probably should have looked first but I will draw the winner on May 1st and I will either announce it on May 1st or May 2nd if for some whatever reason I am too busy to get the video up on the first so um some of the giveaway rules and i probably will forget something so they will be down in the description box along with a link to lady Lori's channel so giveaway rules okay publicly subscribe to my channel publicly subscribe to Lori's channel 
You must be 18 or older so that I know that you are a legal adult. Um, you must live within the lower 48 states. I will only ship um, within the U.S. Uh, just because of shipping costs, I'm not able to do anything above that at this mo at this time. It's really expensive, and I need to keep my um, cost down. Unfortunately, I do apologize to anyone who is international. Um, another thing is um, YouTube is in no way associated with this giveaway. It is solely on my part with something that I created with my own two hands. It's um, not affiliated with any of the brands of the products that I use to create this album. Um, also, I will, um, once I get your address and so forth, I will um, package it with care because I would be really, I would cry if I, if somebody messaged me that it did not make it in good shape. I would, I would literally cry. So I will package it with great care and um, drop it off at the post office. Um, once it leaves my hands, I'm no longer responsible for any damage, loss, theft, um, delayed um, delivery or anything like that. Like I said, I would probably cry, but um, I'm not responsible once it leaves my hands. Um, let's see. I know I'm probably leaving out. I'm probably leaving some stuff out. Um, I think. I know. I know I'm leaving something out. Um, once I draw the winner, I will give you approximately 48 hours to contact me to claim your winnings and give me your um, mailing information. If I do not hear from somebody within the 48 hours, I will go ahead and um, um, put it up for a redraw so we can draw a new winner. And um, I don't know, I'm probably forgetting something because um, I usually do, but um, so I guess that's all I really have to say. So make sure you go check out Lori. Please, please, please go check out Lori. She is so awesome. And it's like, I'm the kind of person that if I find something that's great, like if I find a good deal, a good sale, a good product, um, if I go and see an entertainer that's awesome, see a show, a movie, anything, I love sharing positive things with other people and things that I enjoy so that's like the whole thing here because I just think she's got an awesome channel and I am really pleased with the way this turned out so instead of it sitting on my shelf I'd rather share it with someone else so they can enjoy it so um, make sure you leave me a comment let me know what you think let me know that you went over and checked out Lori's channel and if you did let her know I sent you and we need a secret word so the secret word that you must leave in your comment to be eligible for the giveaway is friend. So, um, because I believe that Lori is a, a great friend. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to wrap this up and um, make sure you go check her out so you can win this cute little album. So, until next time, bye everybody.